Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing Nutshell by Alice in Chains. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is in standard tuning, as opposed to on the record where everything is dropped down. Okay, so it's uh, e, f e sharp or, uh, sorry, E flat or D sharp, however you wanna, whatever you wanna call it, okay? I've just left it in standard tuning to help us out a bit. At the beginning, uh, when I was playing over it, I was just using this uh, RC1 Boss Looper, okay? All right, and you know, if you don't have one, it's no big deal. It's just to give you an example of what the solo is doing. Now, there's two different versions of this, right? There's the electric version and there's the acoustic version. So I've kind of done the solo, which is from the electric version, just on the acoustic guitar. There's already tutorials on how to do the acoustic version. So I just thought I'd show you, you know, how to do that. You know, it's not perfect by any stretch. Anyway, straight into the song. It's an E minor with these extra fingers on here, okay? So the third finger is in the third fret on the B string and the pinky is also in the third fret but on the top E string, okay? And then we play this E minor. Now at the beginning, it's just a quick. So I'm going from E minor to G. So my one finger just moves from the second fret to the third fret on the bottom E string, okay? So I'm going down, move. As I move, I'm playing an upstroke, down and down. Then I'm playing D. Down, up, down, up, down. And then we got this uh, uh, C9, okay? C add nine. And that just looks like the G, but the, the first and second finger are over a string. So they're now on the second fret of the D string, my first finger, second fret of the D. And uh, first finger, second fret, D string, and my second finger, third fret, A string, okay? Fourth string, fifth string. And you don't want to play this bottom E when you're playing the G chord, the C chord, if I get it right. So super slow. E minor, G, D, C add nine. So what am I doing with the strum in there? Let's have a look. Down, up, down, up, down. Up, past the strings. Down, down, up, off, on. So off, on is down, up. And you're just doing this, okay? My first finger's coming off to play that open D string and then back on. Down, up, off, on. Super slow again. Off, on. Okay, and then we go to this. Down, up, down, up, up. Change to E minor, down. So super slow, down, up, down, 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 up, on, off, on. Whole thing starts again. Last bit from the C, down, up, down, up. My 
fingers come off. Down, up, down, up. Just the first two fingers. Then the up stroke just kind of gets those open strings, but then quickly we're on the E minor. I'll try and do even slower. Down, up, down, up. E minor. Yeah, there's a bit where the third finger comes off. And that goes round and round and round, the whole thing. So it's strange timing, I know. So it's kind of just, you've got to try and play along with me and you've got to get into the swing of just playing one stroke on each chord, right? So it's... It's really hard to do the down ups and play it at the same time. So you just have to watch really carefully, okay? Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, off, on. Down, up, down, up, up, down. So let's have a look at the solo. So what I'm doing, I'm using my third finger on the 12th fret and I'm covering the E, the B and the G. And I'm just upstroking. Then we play 11 on the G, sorry. Then nine, still on the G, then we go over nine on the D, and we bend like a half tone, which is pretty hard on the acoustic, or you can just go, okay, and that's nine to ten, or, so here we go. Then we got this position. So that is now my pinky is covering the 10th fret. So top E and B, I'm just doing upstrokes. And my first finger is covering the G string on the 7th fret. Okay, so 10, 10, 7, then we go 7 on the D string, 
five on the D string. Four. A little bit of vibrato there. And then and it goes quickly up back up to twelve. Instead of bending this time, it goes. So you can do a hammer on there, so it's D, D string, 10 to uh, 9 to 10. And then it repeats the second phrase. Then we got this. Oh, I do that properly. So that is a fourth fret on the G string. They're kind of quick bends. So it's G, G string, fourth fret, and I'm kind of, it's kind of like going four, five, but I let it go really quick. So it's like pluck, bend, pull it back. And then I'm using my second finger on the fifth fret on the next string, which is the D string. And you do that same phrase, but on a string lower. So now my first finger's on the D string, and my second finger lands on the A. So all together. Then my third finger is already over the fifth fret on the B, and I slide it to seven, five to seven, and then down to three. And when I'm down to three, I play that C add nine chord. Sorry. A little bit of the verse. Then. So then it's this bottom E twice, and it's palm muted. Then I'm doing on the A string, 5, 7, and then O again on the bottom E. So it's O, O, 5, 7, O. Then 5 on the D string, back O on the E, and then 7 on the A. Okay, it's pretty close. It's not perfect, okay, but it's pretty close. Then it goes back to that phrasing. Except they're they're kind of frayed slightly longer. So where we're going before, now we're kind of doing long. So that is the phrasing on the fourth fret on the G bend, pluck bend back, and then back to that G again. Sorry, the B string on the fifth fret, five to seven, and then back down to three. So if I do that whole bit. that whole C add 9 until my first finger lands in the ninth fret. And he kind of just misses off a few notes off that very same riff again. So I, you know, I kind of guess it and it's like oh oh Oh, oh, oh. So it's oh, oh, oh. Five on the D string. Oh, on the E. Seven 
on the A. And you might hit that five actually. Oh, oh. Five, seven on the A. Oh, oh, oh. Five on the D. O on the E, five, seven on the A. And then there's a little break. Live, he does a little fiddly bit. We're going to miss that. And then he's got this like descending pattern. Okay. So this pattern. Sorry, it's um, the second finger on the G string on the seventh fret and third finger on the top E string on the, also on the seventh fret. And I'm playing those. I'm doing a little bit of palm mute in here just to keep it under control. So I'm going G string, E string, sliding that whole position down to five, doing the same thing. Then I'm sliding it down so my first finger is now on three on the E string and my second finger is on four on the G. Okay, so seven, five, three and four, or four and three, however you want to look at it. Then slide the second finger down to two and put my third finger back on two on the top E string. So all together. Then finally, my first finger goes onto the first fret on the B string, and I play the G string, the B string, and the top E all together. And then we got this. So what I'm doing there, my first finger is on the B string in the first fret. And I'm hitting the B string and the E string at the same time. So it's one, two, three, on, off. Okay, and the on is in the third fret on the B string. One, two, three, on, off. One, two, three, on, off. Then I slide that third finger to the seventh. Then my first finger goes to the fifth, all on the B string. Then when I get to the fifth fret, then I just hit it, the B and the top E and then slide it past the 12th fret. Then we've got this kind of uh, hammer-on thing going on. Now, on the record, it sounds to me like he's playing C major, then this um, uh, mixolydian position. Okay, don't worry if you don't know your modes. But uh, when I watched him live, he kind of plays it G major, then then this mixolydian. Okay, so what I was doing quite badly on the acoustic guitar. So it's kind of um, on the bottom E, three, I'm plucking it once, then hammer, hammer. So it's three, hammer hammer so five and seven three five seven then I do exactly the same on the next string okay so put them together then the D string it goes four five seven so slowly three five seven on the E three five seven on the A four five seven on the D then it's like pull off, back to five, pull off for four, then hammer on to five again.
Okay, that's the first one. Then the second one. Okay, we've got something like that. Now, sometimes I do I see him do a slide. So on the B string, he's sliding five to seven. Then we've got this position. Now I should just show you the scale. It sounds like this. Okay, so that's five to seven on the B. Then eight, 10. Go over to the E string. Seven, eight, 10. So far we got. Pull off back to eight. Pull off back to seven. Ten on the B. Pull off to uh, eight, then seven, then nine on the G. So super slow, and I'll pick it out. Okay, kind of crazy. So, and then it just ends on that B string on the seventh fret with a bend. Okay. So there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to give me the thumbs up. I do these lessons every single week. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell button if you want the weekly updates. You can find ridiculous pictures of me on Instagram and you can follow me on Facebook. By all means, send me any messages. I love to hear how you guys are getting on. And I'll see you again the same time next week, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy.